technology. Okay, so uh, earlier we were talking about renewable energy. Of course, yes. of course, we weren't doing it during the podcast. No, <laughs> but that's kind of neither here nor there. Yeah, when uh, we talk about serious stuff, it's always off the camera. <laughs> so I uh, got to see. Are you familiar? Hmm, are you familiar with the uh, solar plant near Las Vegas, Nevada? Yeah, I, I think I am actually on that one with the huge, not the huge, but like the large. Oh, there it is. Absolutely the huge. Absolutely huge. They're, Beautiful. The towers are about 300 feet tall. Wow. And along here, what you're looking at is uh-huh. uh, a mirror array, okay. which focuses the sun's light into what I can only describe as a star. I mean, it's the light of the damn sun. My first thought, actually, to be honest with you, was uh, Master Control from Tron. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can see that. You know, I mean, not white. But, you know, I mean, white, but not red. But you get the idea. I think everybody was white. Yeah, they were. Uh, so this is kind of neat. You may not see any of these in the future because yeah. uh, they are not as efficient as they were hoped to be. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, well, it does. Yeah. But that's how we find out, really. Well, yeah. It's and trial and error. these things are beyond massive. What you're looking at there, those are, again, the towers are 300 feet tall, and these mirror rays just cover so, so I'm just trying distance. to think, though, like, from the look of this picture, what, a mile or two? If that, maybe? Oh, or yeah, less than know. a mile? Okay. Uh, I mean, to get an idea of scope here, of how large these things are, is kind of what I'm trying to Yeah. They think. they are absolutely stunning to see. Yeah, no. And, uh, they are. You know, I mean, especially the beams. Like, that's mm-hmm. one thing that I'm just getting a kick. It looks like uh, guess what best way to describe it for the people that can't see this it almost looks like an umbrella of light yeah is the best way to describe it like obviously the you know the massive part on top would be like the post and then you just see like almost like a as i said an umbrella shape style going yeah. down to where the beams are so it's kind of just wow and so you know how they work is they uh generate steam mm-hmm. yes i heard about that yeah and uh you c- I can't imagine the kind of temperatures that you get to with something like that. That's, and yeah. Critics say, well, these fry a lot of birds. Well, yes. So? Yes. Not a whole lot of birds live in the desert. No. You know, some, sure. But uh, you know what else kills birds? Uh, fossil fuel. Uh, yeah. Coal burning plants kill not just birds, but humans yeah and and don't forget about you know like you know nuclear power plants which doesn't sometimes just doesn't kill them turns them into god knows what mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the <laughs> yeah uh blinky i think is the fish's name yes. you're looking for yeah that's right all right so yeah here you can see god that's just that's amazing look it's just Shocking! The first time I saw it was out the window of a plane. Yeah. Okay, that's the actual sun. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, you apparently. You want to get a shot of that, and just in case. Got to get the mirror in there. Yes, of course. And all there the dead you bugs can see on the camera. There. Yeah. You can see a reflection of the camera. That's great. That's cool, though. Um, I've been tra- I've been helping Tina work uh, yeah. with uh, Cinema Verite. Yeah. Which is, of course, I think French for shaky camera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jason Bourne style. <clears throat> just oh, can't see it, but we. That's intense. I, Trust us. I don't understand the obsession I, uh, with shaky cam. It's I only get it in certain circumstances, like Cloverfield. Okay, you, you know, you get in the idea right. of that rush, Even terrified. That, but but yeah. when you want to see people beat the shit out of each other, I'm not sitting there like bobbing my head up and down, going like, oh, you know. So yeah, again, looking at the the sheer scale of it is it's just staggering. Well, and also my thought too is you know a couple years down the road they could make these suckers more efficient. And on top of that too, it's like, okay, these are the first trial runs. I mean, it's like the first the first you know combustion engine. Compared to a combustion oh. engine today, would be nothing, right? You the, know the efficiency of early engines, but well, yeah. there's but there's practical limitations to how much you can true. efficiency you can get from steam. That is and true. It's pretty pretty challenging. Yeah, and also they do take up a lot of space. But then again, I mean, at the same time, I'm like, okay, the deconstruction on something like this would be pretty minimal. And on top of that, too, a lot of the a lot of the equipment can be reused for other things. So, mm-hmm. I mean, to me, I don't think of that as a waste. It's like, okay, we tried this, mm-hmm. and then now, all right, this isn't working, but hey, these solar panels that are still efficient, let's, you know, retrofit them for something else. Well, and that's the nice thing is they say, well, you, you know, you're not taking into account the environmental impact of solar panels being, you know, created. It's like, well, 
it does require some mining, yes, yes. But so does any energy source, really. And even gold, like just yeah. uh, I, I mean, uh, like gold rubies. I mean, uh, and we're talking just in a- stuff that we don't really use. And yes, I know a lot of people be like, well, what about the gold? You know, diamond plated like blades. I'm like, yes, I got you there, but we still need to mine that shit. Right. And and the thing with solar panels is almost every component is recyclable. Yeah. Because you've got it's mostly silicone. Yeah. Copper. Mm-hmm. Uh, aluminum frame. So I would think silver in there for like, you know, the conductivity oh, sure. and all that. So it's like, yes. this is materials that, I mean, can be used. And it's not like, oh, well, this solar panel's bad. It's gone. Not necessarily. That's it not how it works. Fixed. You well, know? Uh, the other nice thing with solar is, especially in a place like the desert where you've got essentially infinite space. Yeah. Um, after they say, well, a, the lifespan of a solar panel is 20 years. And that's true. But for but, now, for, well. Not even. It's already not true because solar panels from 20 years ago still work. They just work at about 80% efficiency. Oh, here's an interesting right. fact that I want to throw out there mm. when I'm talking about solar panels. Okay, remember the Mars rover? Mm. All uh-huh. right. The first one that we sent up there, right, that only had a lifespan of, I want to say, two years. Two years was the lifespan originally, and then it died. And they were like, and NASA was like, okay, we got the best. Well, then they got a signal back. Right, it came back online. And that's because of the fact that dust covered up the solar panels. And then it, and then it, the wind blew it off, hmm. recharged, and it's still being used today. I mean, it's hmm. it, they're actually still using that little bugger to keep exploring because yeah. it's still going, mm-hmm. and this is past its life expectancy. Well, I think its so, life expectancy was seventy six days, something like and it's, that. Yeah, yeah. The we've NASA's got their shit together. There was a fun one. To there was degree, a satellite yeah. that uh, went offline mm-hmm. because there was a, a short circuit. And yeah. um, the battery that, that had short-circuited continued draining and draining and draining until the battery reached absolute failure, uh-huh. at which point the short circuit was eliminated and the backup battery kicked up. And years after the fact, the damn thing popped back to life. Yeah. It's like, hmm, it's that's... kind of funny how that works out. And that's why, I mean, you know, uh, uh, even as Jay Leno said, because I was watching a really cool video of him. I, I find party. that hard to believe. Yeah. Oh, but go ahead. Yeah, when he was, uh, because he was uh, rebuilding like his steam cars. Yeah. And you got to understand when these, you know, he was like, hey, last days of the old are always better than the first days of new because like these steam cars that were built in, I want to say, I'm going to go with like 20s. I'm going to say teens, but yeah. Something like that. They had push button starters on these suckers. Huh. You could just click and just sit there, you know, and then start it up instead of having to go out there and literally rotate the the crankshaft to get the, you know, uh, a combustion engine running and, so, and what would happen if your crank kicked on you uh you probably bust your arm that's right literally literally it would literally break your arm yeah because you got all that force coming back at you right you've and, got whatever horsepower your engine has mm-hmm. directed into your arm but yet the steam power card of course just nobody really i didn't even knew they exist until i was watching that on youtube and it's well just you know like, he's got uh antique electric cars as well yes and he loves them because they're so simple Oh, yeah. There's just nothing to him. I mean, that I do have to admit, like, when it comes to Jay Leno, yeah, he's a funny guy, but I like him more as the mechanic because he, actually, he has his own article in, what is it, uh, Car and Driver magazine or Popular Science? One of the two, I cannot remember, but he always writes an article every month hmm. for the magazine, like, talking about, like, Porsche engine clutches and, hmm. you know, Porsche clutches, I mean. Hmm. And, I mean, the guy's, he's That's, a gearhead and he's yeah. smart. Um. Yeah, and you know his show, Jay Leno's Garage? Yeah. Oh, that's some fun stuff. It is. It kind of depends. On, you, you know. Yeah. It's hit and miss for me. Yes. But I, I was never a Leno guy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like for me with Conan. Yeah. Um, I can't stand the show, but when he does live segments yeah. where he's like out in the real world, he's man, hilarious. those just slay me. And that's why I'm like, as I said, I like Jay Leno more as the mechanic than I do as the comedian. Because, I mean, it's like when he gets in his mechanical mode, I mean, he's it's not that he's funny. He's just like, you just want to sit there and listen to him for hours because it's just like he, wow, it's fun stuff. But then again, you know me. I like the mechanical stuff. Heck, I know I just of graduated. you. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm a remnant of the past. So that was kind of a a fun <laughs> segment on the solar thing. If, you, yep. if you're not watching this on YouTube, uh, at least go and Google the pictures of the solar farm yeah. here. Near it's really Nevada, neat stuff, guys. Las I mean, Vegas. it's just kind of like, wow. It's a neat technology mm-hmm. that's 
not likely to expand to an area near you for a number of reasons. The cost of installation alone has got to be, yeah. what, $100 million probably. Yeah. But it's fascinating. Mm-hmm.